Today it's a confusing mess as to where any hardwood floor comes from. Maybe it doesn't matter to you, but perhaps you're one of them that wants the red, white, and blue. You believe in better and you decide. Your floors start their journey in northeastern Ohio where American pride and quality has never taken a back seat to anyone. Your floors start from raw logs forested from western Pennsylvania and Ohio. On this day, hickory was the hardwood of choice. These hardwood mills have always fascinated me with the power at which the logs are cut so easily. After the logs are lined up for rip sawing, the next step is rip cutting into a manageable square shape. Then it travels down the line for finer tuning and turned into inch and a quarter thickness. Here the logs are fed into a band sawing station that creates the one and a quarter inch coming out the other side. This process is continued until all the logs are completely cut and then runs through a rough planer where the one and a quarter inch stock is also rip sawn cut to approximate size width. Finally at the end of the line this hickory is sorted according to appearance and length. It's also the very first grading step among several more once it's air and kiln dried. Here we have about 5,000 square feet ready to go to the flooring mill. Delivery takes place of the same hickory cut from logs at the sawmill. After receiving, it then goes through an open air drying process where thin multiple strips of hardwood are placed in between all planks, which allows for air passage, so the hardwood is dried consistently. Open air drying is one of several important steps for any quality hardwood floor, and can take anywhere from six months to a year before it's ready to enter the dry kilns. The kiln is the final step in proper drying and can take three to four weeks depending on the hardwood species. Even though our two short segments shows the hardwood is no longer living, it still needs slow and proper drying periods. Rushing into production and skipping these steps is not something you'll find in a quality hardwood floor. Once proper drying periods have taken place, your hardwood gets a shave where it's milled to about 7 eighths of an inch thickness. In this segment, maple is being milled. This also shows another step in grading seen with what we call the line walker. His duties are to grade and inventory what's being passed through the planer. Down the line is the sizing station where each board is analyzed for what's called proper yield. Here you can see the operator finding the best ways to rip each board that passes. In this sequence, a three and a quarter and four and a quarter inch board is cut from a wider plank and then comes out the other side of the rip sawing station. Next, all hardwood goes through a procedure that identifies excessive knots and other major blemishes that will not find its way into final production. All maple is sorted according to grade and width and ready for the actual tongue and groove milling process. Actually, we're not ready for that yet. At this point, all hardwood becomes a blank, or what you see behind me. It, it's not milled in the tongue and groove yet, but goes into the inventory of what's available to mill. I've been to a lot of hardwood mills, and what stands out to differentiate quality is the slower speed in which your flooring goes through the molding machines. The first step in the molding involves creating a side tongue and groove at the same time. This also brings the thickness down to almost three quarters of an inch before a final sanding step. This is then followed up with milling the end joint sides or what the industry calls side matching. I'm not able to show much of the finishing process because it is proprietary. 
but it is the part I like the best. Just seeing what a, the finished product looks like after being well, just a log a few days ago is quite amazing. The finished coats on your floors are a very durable, solid UV ceramic green product seen coming through the last UV curing station in the final stages of a seven step process. Packaging wise, all of our boxes are 99 inches in length as some boards can exceed 8 feet in length by an inch or two. Paper is placed in between finished layers to protect from rubbing during transport. This box is done, ready for strapping, and headed to another Uptown Floors customer. Thanks for spending the time to watch how Uptown Floors are made. If there's one thing you remember from the videos, website, or me, trust your own instincts and choose what you feel most comfortable with. For myself, it's not about selling hardwood floors, but knowing I may have helped you sort through the noise when it comes to buying hardwood floors, and especially how they should be installed without problems.